Okay, everybody. So, what do we see up here right now? Uh, just uh, give me some hands and I'll call on you. Okay, so what do you see? Lemon. Lemon. Uh, that's a lime. Oh, yeah, you're right. Citrus. Citrus. Okay. Um, what's that? Um, some honey with, I don't know, like pepper? Yeah, yeah. So we got, we've got some sort of honey here or something like that with some pepper. Okay. Um, Seraphine, what else do we see? Salt. Yeah, yeah, salt. And um, what do you think this is right here? Oh. Uh, like, Gabe? Red salsa. Red salsa, yeah. To me, it looks like kind of all this here mixed together, right? Yeah, who said that? Was that you, you know? Yeah, looks like all of it mixed together. Um, yeah, and uh, what is this word? Chamoy. Chamoy. Chamoy, right. Yeah, so does anybody know what chamoy is before we jump into it? Okay. All right, all right, hang tight. Okay, uh, Edgar? Okay, so from what I understand that you're saying is that it's like a topping, right? Yeah. Alright, do we all agree it's a topping? Yeah, look. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's go on and let's uh, find out more about this. Okay, so what is chamoy? It's Now, it's considered a sauce, but it can be a little different. It can go, it can be kind of like saucy and wet. It can be kind of like a paste or it can be a little dry. I see some of you are nodding like, yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. Um, and usually it's made from apricots, which is kind of like a, if you think of a, uh, what is it, like a peach? Mm -hmm. Sort of like that, plums and mangoes. And it's sort of salty. It's a little sweet and it's a little spicy. Um, that's like the one main component is it's spicy, yeah, right? And uh, from what Edgar was telling us, you can pretty much put it on everything, right? Even pancakes. Even, Ew. I want to try that, pancakes, that sounds really good. Uh, but yeah, you put it on fruit mostly, it tastes really good on fruit. It tastes good on sorbet, which is sort of like a ice cream, but it's mostly liquid and like sweet. Raspados. Raspados, right? Yeah, mamona, that's what this is, right? So this is like a combination of the chamoy, which is on the straw, so that's the dry. And then we have sort of liquidy stuff, which is uh, there. It's also more chamoy. You have bits of mango and mango sorbet in that, right? And then, uh, what is this that we see here? Now, how many of us have had like uh, chamoy covering like a fruit or like an apple? Yeah, so like everybody's raising their hand mostly. Dude, with mango, it's so good. Okay, so like here, how about that? I like that. So um, I prefer it on um, on like pineapple. Oh yeah. What do you like it on? You said mango. Mango and apples. Does anybody else like have their favorite uh, thing to put it on? You said bananas. Okay, bananas. So now, does anybody know where chamoy came from? No. Yeah. Okay, so I hear Mexico, Mexico, Mexico. Sort of. But it came from somewhere else originally. Africa. Oh, I, heard something. Made in I really China. like that response. Okay, so, so where did it come from? So nobody really knows exactly where it came from. But Takeshi Itawari, a Japanese immigrant to Mexico, because Mexico is a lot like the United States. Tons of people from all over the world come there and immigrate. Um, he introduced this thing called umeboshi, which is a treat made of apricots, and it's dry. Right? So this is kind of like what it is up here. And that kind of looks like something else, like another treat. Does anybody know what other like uh, sort of Hispanic treat that looks like? It's also salty. Seraphine? Never mind. Gabriel, do you want to help him out? It's like tamarindo. Tamarindo. Sometimes, yeah, it's like a little salty treat. Well, it's sort of like a byproduct of that. They, and it's also like uh, Chinese immigrants, they brought this thing called simui, which sounds a lot like chamoy. Uh, and it's a dried plum tree. So they dry it in these jars and they take it out. And what's left over is the chamoy, which is like that honey that you guys saw. It's like a syrup. And they dry that out. And Mexican chefs took this and they said, this is really good. We're gonna you know, try something with it. And what do they add? They add chili. And they create a chamoy from that. Whoa, that's sick. You know? So whenever you try chamoy, Remember, you're trying something that's a combination of something from China, Japan, and Mexico mixed together. Whoa. All right? And that's all I have to say for you guys today. Thank you for having me.